Welcome to What Brings Karina Joy. If you're new here, I am Karina Joy and this is my YouTube channel. So today is going to be my January TBR. I I'm also going to be filming a goals video tonight, so I'm hoping that I don't mix them together. I hope I can keep them separate because I'm excited about both of them, but we'll see. Okay, so December's been fun. Um, we've had a lot going on. I was sick a good majority of the month, and so I actually did a whole lot of audiobooks on Hoopla that were like Christmas short stories um, and then like Kendall has a few that I did so I didn't read a lot of physical books this month I'm hoping next month will be a little better I'm excited okay so this next year I I'm probably being way too ambitious because that's the way I am but I am joining in, first of all, I have my own monthly challenge called What Brings You Joy. Um, each month is a reading challenge that I have, I will create, and it is, um, oh, what is the thing I'm looking for? It's four prompts. Um, and it's inspired by some kind of topic. So January will be family inspired and I have four prompts, like I just said two minutes ago. Uh, so I'm going to share those with you and then I'm going to join in with Chantel um, from Chantel Reads All Day with her Read Your Bookshelf Challenge. And then I have, um, and I'll link the videos for this challenge, I have created a 2022 Goodreads Alphabet Reading Challenge. And that's um, for those of you that didn't watch that video, it is to get some of your Goodreads want to read books off of your list. Um, you can do it however you want. This is just how I chose to do it. I don't have, um, I don't have a lot of space. We live in a, in a parsonage and it's not small. It's just, um, with, for a family of eight, you know, it's hard to fit a lot of stuff in there. And so I don't have a lot of bookshelf space. So I tend to buy what I want to read, read it, and then either keep it if I like it. And it tends to go into storage or I, um, unhaul it and send it somewhere else if I didn't like it. Um, that's, that's how I work. So the, the Goodreads challenge is more for me and, uh, I'm going to end up buying books or finding them on Scribd, um, which by the way, guys, I just discovered Scribd like a week ago and I am, I'm in love. It is going to be my new favorite thing to use. Um, I like Hoopla a lot, but I don't understand why if I can check out 50 books at my library and then essentially turn those back in and get 50 more books, why on Hoopla can I only get eight books a month and that's it? And I realized I could sign in. We have two library cards. I could get my own. The ones we have are my husband's and my daughter's. I could have my own and then I'd have three library cards and I could do all that, but it's just a headache. Scribd, I am loving because I'm able to look up things that I've been wanting to read and it's actually on there. A lot of times with Hoopla, it's not necessarily there and so that's not sponsored or anything. I just discovered it and I love it. So Scribd is going to be my friend this year. So. I'm going to try not to talk too much, but we're talking about books. 
books I want to read. So, hopefully, I'll be able to keep this video trim. Okay, so for the January What Brings You Joy reading challenge, the prompts are family inspired. And the first one is read a book with a family word in the title. So, sister, brother, wife, husband, mom, dad, all of those. Um, I was going to film this video earlier in the month and announce the challenge and then show you another video with my TBR. But things kind of got crazy this month. So I'm hoping next month I'll be able to, halfway through the month, put out the reading challenge and then that gives you time to find what you want to read if you're joining in by the end of the month. Um, okay, so prompt number two is read a book written by somebody with the same first name as a family member. And then uh, number three is read a book about siblings. Number four is read a book about adoption. Um, I picked adoption because we adopted three of our kids and that's a big part of our family and I think it's an amazing thing. So I wanted to add that in as well. Um, so for this reading challenge, I'm going to show you what I have that I'm going to read next month. Like I said, I'd like to show you some suggestions and then later have another video that shows what I picked, but who knows? We'll see. Okay. So number one, uh, read a book with a family word in the title. I'm going to read the tiger's wife. I don't know a whole lot about this book. I bought it at the library for like 25 cents, but it's one of those things that I'm afraid will sit on my shelf for a really long time if I don't watch it. And so since it had this word in it, I decided I would go ahead and pick it up this month, read it. Hopefully I like it. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about it, so I can't really tell you, but by the end of the month, maybe I'll have an idea and can give you a recap. Okay, so read a book written by somebody with the same first name as a family member. I'm going to read The Printed Letter Bookshop. This is by Katherine Ray. My grandmother's name was Katherine, and so I picked this book. I actually um, saw this book on Goodreads, and then literally like three days later, I found it at Goodwill. And this is actually an ARC, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, a little bit about it. One of Madeline Collins happiest childhood memories is of working with her Aunt Maddie in, a, in the quaint and cozy printed letter bookshop. But by the time Madeline inherits the shop nearly 20 years later, family troubles and her own bitter losses have hardened Madeline's heart toward her once treasured aunt and the now struggling bookshop left to left in her care. So that one sounds good. For number three, read a book about siblings. I have The Glasstown Game. This is a book about the, the Brontes. Uh, they created like a fantasy game and, and I guess this is her version of what their game was. I have actually already started this book. Um, let's see, I am 35 pages in and so far I've really enjoyed it. It's about pastor's kids. I was a pastor's kid. I'm a pastor's wife and so it's kind of warmed my heart already, so I'm I'm really excited to finish it this month and get that done. <clears throat> the last one is uh, read a book about adoption, and I picked Daddy Long Legs. I reached a little bit for this one because he doesn't exactly adopt her, but he pays for her college, and she has to write him. I don't know. Maybe it has nothing to do with adoption, but the only other book I had 
on my shelf at the time was about true crime and it was about adoption, but it had a really, <sighs> the little girl ends up getting killed. I'm not sure if it's by the family that adopted her or if she gets kidnapped from the family, but I just, I didn't want that to be in my family inspired reading challenge because I wanted feel good books for the beginning of the year, I guess. Um, okay, so the read your bookshelf challenge. I, on Chantel's um, channel, she has a video and I'll try to link it. I'll definitely link it below. I'll try to put it in the cards, but she has a video where she shows the whole year worth of challenge. And then um, she also has a printable on her blog. So I printed this off so I could copy it down into my planning system. Um, but this was free, so you can print that off and join in with her if you'd like. The January prompt is quiet. Now she said that this can be anything that you can think of for quiet. Um, and so, Okay, so she said that this can be any book that has to do with quiet. I tried to go with hum if you don't know the words, but I asked my family if hum meant quiet to them, and they said no. So I figured I was cheating on that one, so I changed it, and I decided I found this one on Scribd. It is, let me see if I can get it to... In Quiet Girl in a Noisy World. This is a graphic novel about an introvert. So, sounds like a good book. Um, so that's gonna be my book for the Read Your Bookshelf Challenge. Um, now, my books for the uh, Goodreads Alphabet Reading Challenge that I created. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to do on the Alphabet Challenge, I'm, I don't know what you would call it. I have to do things in order. It's just who I am. And so I'm going to start with A and I'm going to go through the alphabet in order. So I've already picked my books for the year. Um, I filmed a video on that, which I will link in the description and hopefully here in the cards. And so um, the very first one is A, of course, and that's going to be All Systems Red, and then that one is by Martha, Martha Wells, and it is a sci-fi book, and then I'm going to read Before and After, um, I believe that's by Lori Wick, let me look that up real quick, oh no. I was completely wrong. That's what I get for uh, trying to guess things. Okay, so uh, B is going to be Before and After, and that's by Judy Christie and Lisa Wingate, and this is about the um, orphans who survived the Tennessee Children's Home Society. So I've talked about those on other videos, so I don't really want to bore anybody that's already watched that. If you would like to see more information about those two books, you can watch the ABC challenge or alphabet challenge that I have linked down below. Um, okay, so another thing that I'm gonna try to do, and I will talk about this more in my goals um, video that I'm gonna film here in a minute. Um, I want to try, and this is kind of like above and beyond my TBR, so it really just depends on whether I'm going to have time, but I want to do a battle of the books once a month, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to make it into a vlog, um, but I'm going to pick two books that either tell the same story, so like, for instance, like a classic and a retelling, or are a book about the same topic. So this month I'm going to read um, about the San Francisco 
fire back in 1906. It started with an earthquake, which set the town on fire, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I know there was an earthquake and a fire. Um, burned most of San Francisco. It was a terrible tragedy, but I'm going to read two books about that. Okay, so the two books that I would like to do a book battle with this month is um, Under the Ashes by Cindy Rankin and then Into the Firestorm by Deborah Hopkinson. These two books are middle grade and they are about the San Francisco fire in 1906 and I'm going to read them both and see who did it better or maybe they tie who knows so like I said I want to make that into a vlog I'm not a hundred percent sure if it will happen or not I'm trying to give myself grace this year and not get upset if my plans don't happen because I'm really bad about making plans and then they don't happen and then I beat myself up about it and you know so that's going to be a goal of mine which I will talk about in my next video which is my 2022 goals if you like this video please like and subscribe let me know if you're joining in on January's what brings you joy reading challenge and let me know what books you're going to read in the comments. I will see you in the next video.